Hey, what's up, guys? Brad here. So today it is a very, very, very good day because it's June 11th. We have the PS5 event in just under 10 hours from me recording this. So by the time this comes out, that would have happened. So hopefully it was pretty good. But today I was going to stream, but I thought I'm not really going to do much apart from opening some of these UR card guaranteed sales and seeing how scammed we get because it was a fun time to try and get some good cards for very cheap and then get scammed in the process. So uh, that is the basis of today's video. I have a short list of the packs I want to go into and so we'll go for all of them and see if we pull anything good. Now hopefully we don't get screwed because you will know that I've not really been feeling the last two boxes like you know Truth Universe and uh, Flames of the Heart. There's a few things in here I want but there's nothing overly amazing that I wanted to play, like DDD's, sure they seemed fun and malefic, so I think would be the, de the deck that I wanted to play the most, but it didn't seem too worthwhile for my 999 gems and knowing me, you know, spending a god knows how much amount of money, so let's go and I'm just going to go and quickly grab up this list of what I wanted to uh, go into. Do not know why I loaded it on Discord, I meant to load it on my phone, uh, but we will see exactly what packs we need to go into because I made a list last night just so I didn't, you know, go over budget, I guess. Uh, so, first of all, we're going to go. First of all, we're going into Flames of the Heart because newest box, and there's only one card I really want from the set, and it's actually Lord Gaia, super rare card. We I went in for like, you know, a three packs plus one SR deal, I think, or maybe we did a couple of packs to see what we could get, and we pulled up. What did we pull? We pulled a. Winter, and I think we got the Ghost Meets Girl. Yeah, we got those two. So, from the packs, you know, from the three packs, if we get a Lord Gaia, that'd be insane. But really, the only Ultra I want is this Gizmek, and it's probably the best card in the set, honestly. The Goki stuff might be good in the future, like when we get XC summoning. They might be good because, again, just a nice little generic rank 4 or rank 3 or rank 5 spam deck. They can be whatever they want to be. So... Let's go in, I'm going to make sure my things on cards are in the box because I don't want to be spoiled. Let's see if we need to do anything. I think we're going to have to, um... Ah, uh, yes. Add funds. I will be right back. Authorized payment for our first three-pack deal. Let's see what we can get. A wink from Kariba already, that's pretty good. Please, like, if we get... If we somehow got Gizmagyata in this, that'd be insane. I will take Tant Necro because that's probably one of the more generic cards in the set, so really good. Three was again, can we get anything good here? No, we can't. Okay, that's fine. Octo Stretch, sure. And then our last one, a Bam. Okay, there's uh, our My Cash Synchro. Hopefully, we don't pull this one from the, uh, the Guaranteed URs, but knowing our luck, we will. And we get Goki Suprex, the only one I didn't want to see, really, but... I guess that's good because in the future if I want to go back to this box and I don't need to go back in multiple times to get this card for an Xyz deck, so honestly, it's not terrible. Now let's go back in for Truth Universe because that is the other side I didn't go into. From here we want Miscellaneousaurus, that'd be pretty cool to get that, uh, Justy Break maybe, Malefic Stardust because it's good in any deck with a field spell, and then Ancient Pixie Dragon because you never know when we might need to see that card. So we're going to put our image on Rainbow Bridge for the moment just so we can kind of say to Konami, you know what, do not give us that card. So I put in £10, we're going we're to go for more than that though, but uh, let's see. First Karibo giving us absolutely nothing. Second Karibo with Zushin, that was a uh, a fun stream from Dueling's Best Decks trying to get that to work out. And our third and final pack is going to give us a BAM. Hopefully the Crystal Beast spell. That will actually be pretty good. Hey! Okay, so we gave us the card we put our thing on. That That's that's pretty cool because that is one of the more generic cards. There's not many cards in this set. Like, you know, I don't even want to look at your treasure real quick. Let's see. Come on, good card. Ho ho ho, yes, Konami. We're currently one for one on good ultra rare. So that's not, that's not too bad. Now, next box is going to be Judgment Force, which, um... Was the blue ice box the light swan box? I believe yeah, it was. So we have, you know, not many packs left in the box, but we're about under half the box. But we're missing, we're missing more glow bulbs, which you know you only really need one, but it's still pretty good to have more than one. Vespasius 
is the one I want more copies of because then I'll be able to go and buy the Gladius deck to even be able to play the deck properly, so that's be pretty cool. And then we have Maiden. We have two Maidens already. Three Maidens, I think, is what you uh, kind of want. So let's put our, you know, our thing on, on our Saber Dancer. And let's see what Konami will give us for our next offering of one whole Great British Pound. Three packs, or oh, yeah, three packs, three Kribos, and... A Necros. I really hope we don't get the Gishki Ritual. I really, I feel like Konami will do that and just give us the worst Ritual or the worst Ultra in the box. But, um, or Kaiser of Horse Raid, which we'll have three of. So let's see. I spoke too soon. Okay. Well, you can't win them all. Currently, one for two. Next box is Forge the Gears. This one I think is pretty straightforward. We're, you know, under half the box. We're missing in this box left, which is really thing we're missing ballista squad which we have one of already and there's one faris left in the box or well, no faris in the box so what i'm gonna do is be really stupid and reset because i think you do want three faris so if we can get a third faris and one in our guarantee that's pretty good ballista squad is good in no matter how many quantities you have so hopefully we pull either faris or ballista that'd be pretty cool because then once we get stratos via a normal box we can then play heroes but let's see. Uh, nothing so far. Ooh, come on. Super Soldier Soul. Okay, and it's a glossy. That's pretty good because we might get that BLS skill at some point for Yugi. So, you know, a good card for the future. Laurel, King Skull, Red Warg. And will we pull? Please don't be the Machina because I already got three of them. Hey, Faris. Okay, not too bad. That's our second copy. So we're on our way to building Hero Deck. That's not too bad at all. Next up, we have Future Horizon. This is, I just went into this box last week to get my third Dimagical Circle with, you know, a few of the sales, not too many, but we're missing, actually. We're missing Rampage Dragons, so we can't play Cyber Dragons at all right now because we're missing their key combo card, which um would be my highlight to get. Also, we're missing, uh, I guess we could do with some more Super Heavy Samurai Wagons. We have one of them already, and we have no Tragodia, but honestly... Not really fussed with that one, but we want Chimera Tech, we want the Super Heavy. Let's see. Please don't give me Circle, because I just spent like a tenner on Circle last week. Please don't give me the one card in this set that I was trying to get for so long. Probably will, but um... Ooh. Okay. Please. Wagon? Okay, I, I will take a second copy of Lancia. Then Ultra Red Guaranteed. At least it's new. <laughs> At least it's a card I didn't have before. That's that's okay. That's not that's not the most amazing thing in the world. Now I'm going to go down and skip a couple of boxes and go down to Absolute Inferno. Because this one we have remaining in the box, Ultra Rares, we have Bear. Which I feel like you know, fight we're getting Xyz summoning probably this year. So, Fire Fist being a good Xyz deck, they are probably going to get support, and having more than one copy of Bear is going to be, you know, necessary, I think. So, let's see if we can at least get Alexander Dragon, okay, sure. Clearly the pack's not doing anything for us right now, but can we please get a Bear? Don't Red Dragon Archfiend. It's the wrong one that we probably won't use because the... okay. I mean, it was on the right tracks, it just wasn't the right Fire Fist, so, um, okay. Now we're going to dive all the way back down to Abyss Encounters, because this box has a ton that could see play in the future. There's, you know, Ties the Brethren, which I feel like will be good for XC summoning. Uh, there's Archfiend Emperor, the First Lord of Horror, which again, can be summoned very easily, so... I think we need to try and get more copies of those cards because we don't have one of them. So let's see what we can get. So we're currently, we're almost towards the end of our first £10, which we, depending on how well we do here, we might. It's a glossy. I guess that's an upgrade if we ever want to play Sea Stealth Attack again, which, you know, we, we might do. There might be some broken water deck in the future that, you know, really benefits from having Sea Stealth Attack, but I don't know. Then... Really? 
one of the weirdest cover cards I've ever seen for a set. Like this would not like this would not have been my first choice of cover card for this set. It would have been something like, you know, Archfiend Emperor or um <laughs> you know, they could have made it a whale not rare based on how good it is. So um okay. That's all the ones I wanted to guarantee me getting. Um the rest of the ones I'm gonna go through are ones that are I'm 50-50 on, you know, we could deal we could go into this, but we don't really have to. So let's see what is next. So Soul of Resurrection. This one is the Raigeki Break set, which I think everyone can kind of know why I want to go into this. There's Shiranui's. We're missing of super rares that are in the box. We're missing a third red resonator, which if we pull this would be very nice, but we don't need any of the other ultra rares. We don't need Squire Slug or Nether Soul Dragon. So right now it's literally just we want Raigeki Break. And if we get it, that's pretty good. A 33.3% chance of pulling it, plus it's also in the box still, so there might be a small chance of us getting it from there. But let's see. Can we get anything new? No. Come on, trap. I don't know how many I have that ready. We'll have to do a quick check. We had... That was our sixth copy. Okay. Not worth it. But... Double not worth it. Okay. Okay, Konami, I see what you're doing here. That's uh, that's not fun. Uh, Aerial Assault, where are you? You're right next to it. This set is what's remaining in the box of this one. We have... Oh, okay, yeah. So we have, like, Jet Synchron, we have Land Robe, we have Insector Hornet, which, you know, we also have a third Simoon, a third Gale. I... It's one that I'm on the edge of doing, but you might as well. You know, you might... Like, those cards are cards that, especially the first ones, that again might have future potential that might be pretty good so I thought you know what let's go in check this one out see if we can pull anything decent looks like the answer is no we're gonna get you know scammed on our uh, on our non-guaranteed our guaranteed it's not even a glossy or a prismatic okay uh, I guess we have now three of them we're never gonna use three uh, that's uh, that's a shame what is the next one on our list? We have do, 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 Dark Dimension. Okay, so this one is actually like a really, uh, you know, the best box in the game pretty much. But what we're missing is we're missing a third Thunder Dragon Hawk, a third Molihu, a third Alistar, and a third Chocolate Magician Girl. Any of them, and I would be very happy. Especially the Alistar and the Chocolate Magician Girl, because of course we're getting Taya at the end of the month, so I assume that... We'll get more Magician Girl support then, so if we can have three chocolates, then that will be pretty good for us. But let's see if we can pull anything that we needed or not. We're just going get, to get Samurai Destroyer, which is honestly a good card, but again, we have like 10 million of them right now. And for our Guarantee Ultra Rares, we're going to be getting our fourth Necro Valley. <sighs> Yikes. Okay. Okay. So I think we have one left I, I think but we're not gonna end on that obviously um what's next here ah okay yeah so revolution beginning is another box i highlighted that i might want to go into because we have the fabled stuff like cerberal and grimro which kind of nice but again i'm not too sure stardust acceleration is silver's cry and mausoleum whether that's going to be worthwhile, I don't know. Let me let me just see how many we have left. If we only have one, then I think we might end it here. We don't even have enough for that. Well, uh, le fine. Let's just, you know, for some reason you can't fund five dollars. You can well, five pounds. You can only fund four pounds or higher, which is really weird. But we're gonna try and go in and see if we can get any of um those cards are highlighted and see if Steam wants to actually work my transaction. There we go. Thank you very much, Steam. And authorized, and of course, we'll end the video off with the best pack in the game. We'll try and get uh, that legendary card. So, uh, let's see. Nothing. It's just going to be... Uh, skip. It's nothing. It's not going to be good. And then we're going to get Full Helm Knight, which we have... That is our third copy of. And it's a glossy. That's honestly not terrible, because X Sabers will undoubtedly get some more support. They're missing some pretty big cards, which means that it might still be good in the future. So, uh, not bad. We have three pulls left, so I, I think we're going to go down to Primal Burst. 
and go for, yeah, yeah, so one more snow, one more volcanic rocket, dark or lightning, any of those would be pretty nice, because Graffa was in the game fast a while ago, we didn't see him, he was in the event, but, you know, he might come at some point to Duel Links, and if he does, then you, you're gonna want those Dark Horde URs, and I think because of how many are URs, they won't do a structure, and if they do, they won't put everything in them. So, uh, let's see if we can pull anything from this one that's gonna be, nah. <laughs> just, just no. It's gonna give us... Eh, eh, okay. Okay, our, our third rocket, that's, that's fine, that's not too bad. And the last one before we go on to the best box in the game, what was it? It was Primal Burst, wherever that one is. No, not that one. It was Gaia Genesis. Where are you? You're up, aren't you? Yes, Gaia Genesis. So, a box that, again, has Gates to Dark World. We have a lot of stuff already, but there's some stuff in here that really could, again, for, you know, exceed something in the future, be really good. That's what I'm kind of going into this with a mindset of, is that are there things that could get more support in the future that we saw get support in a TCG, like, you know, Mermails, Atlanteans, those got, you know, indirect support via the Deep Sea Diva stuff in the TCG, so we might see them come. So, uh, Maximus, oh god, that card is insane for a normal. Nothing there, but can we get our confirmed guarantee to be a Galaxy Cyclone, which I think we have about 10 million of them. So, um, yeah, five, okay. So... The last one of the video is going to be Land of the Titans because it has the best pulls in the game. We have Yellow Baboon and no, we're not. We're not doing that. We're doing the best pack in the game, Ultimate Rising. We have a fully reset box and we're going to see if we can pull our fourth copy of Axe Raider, but it needs to be prismatic. So um, let's see if we can do that. Our last purchase, yep, go through. There we go. That should be our last one done. Uh, come on, Konami. Bless me, give me Prismatic Accelerator, Prismatic something would be a good way to end this off. This card was busted back in the day. <laughs> that card was insane back in the early format of Duel Links. Oh god, seven, you know, the seven sword guy was insane. Win? Are we gonna win right now? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, it's not a Prismatic, but at least the meme is true. Anyway, that's going to be done for today's Duel Links video. Let me know what you guys got down below in your pulls, if you managed to pull insanely well, or if you pulled, you know, kind of terribly. I'm about to go and record a live pack opening for the Duel Links from Scratch series. We're going to go through and try to pull some navigations, just so we can make our deck a bit better. So look out for that, you know, that first episode of Duel Links from Scratch sometime this weekend. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.